You think this guy looks like a beast here? Wait till you hear the whole story. What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, Athenx.com. So let me introduce you to somebody. This is Kyle Farnsworth, a former MLB pitcher for nine teams that now looks like this, an absolute beast. So now, a lot of people have been talking about this. Jesse actually brought this across my desk this morning because he saw it in, I believe, the New York Post. And there's an astonishment about how he went from basically a pitcher to now a bodybuilder. But none of this really astonishes me. Because you see, when I spent time in Major League Baseball in 2006, 7, and 8, Kyle was actually in a Yankee uniform on the other side of town. And I got a chance to see him both at Yankee Stadium and at Shea Stadium when he would come over and play. And I actually got to see a side of Kyle Farnsworth that not everybody has. And this doesn't come as a surprise to me at all. But we can first evaluate the physique because no doubt he looks like an absolute beast. The vascularity is sort of crazy. The size is ridiculous. The legs are absolutely shredded and humongous. And that actually is something that we're going to learn about in a second here too. That's not a surprise to me. But essentially, Kyle Farnsworth is a big jacked dude. He's 6'4", 240 pounds, and 46 years old. So now right off the bat, people are gonna say, Kyle Farnsworth is using something. Now let's not kid ourselves. Kyle Farnsworth did the majority of his time in baseball during the PED era. When guys like Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire and Roger Clemens were getting slapped for PED use. And he actually even appeared on a hoax version of the Mitchell Report where people were assuming that he was one of the guys that was gonna get popped. Not to be the case because again, that list became something that wasn't accurate. However, there's certainly reason to be at least a little suspicious about what we're seeing here. What I think is important though is to look back a little bit at who we're talking about. Again, more, more physique photos here. The guy is absolutely jacked. Even his hamstrings are freaking jacked. Now, this is Kyle Farnsworth all the way back with the Chicago Cubs long before his final days of playing and even long before he was with the Yankees. And you can see he was a, a, a big guy. Again, he was always one of the guys that we said was absolutely jacked. He was an anomaly when it came to baseball players. I mean, especially as a pitcher, his size and his overall appearance was just not what you would typically see. So he was always big. There's with the Cubs. Here's with the Tampa Bay Rays. Even here with the New York Mets. I mean, the guy was always big. Now, here's what else I know about him, though. I know that Kyle Farnsworth was also one of the hardest workers in the room, period. So when we would go to Yankee Stadium, as a personnel or staff member, I would get to the stadium early. So I'd get there around 1 o'clock or so, 12.45, 1 o'clock for a 7 o'clock night game. And we, of course, would want to get our work in before the players came in. So the strength coach, Rick Slate, and myself, we would go over to the visiting clubhouse and get our workout in. Well, every single time that I went over to work out for each of the, say, the three days in the series, Kyle Farnsworth was the only guy in that gym with us. And of course, he'd always be propped up on the leg extension machine, just cranking away at leg extension after leg extension after leg extension. Now, you know how I feel about leg extensions. Obviously, Kyle enjoyed the exercise. And it shows that his leg development probably enjoyed the exercise too. Now, that being said, I had to sort of question his motives at the time too, because I didn't really see that as being the best, maybe most functional way to train for what he was doing, right, for his sport, step ups, lunges, there's better things that he could do. But he did a lot of leg extensions. So the fact that he's now become a bodybuilder certainly doesn't surprise me at all because I always sort of wondered whether he was more interested in bodybuilding versus pitching. Now, he had a, a pretty decent career. He certainly had a long career, 17 years as an MLB pitcher. So he was able to sort of provide what he did to the best of his ability for quite a while. Now, the biggest thing though, however, is that other half of the equation, sort of like you don't know the whole story. Kyle Farnsworth was recognized as one of the toughest guys in baseball. And I'll never forget the time that he's pitching against Paul Wilson, actually a former Mets pitcher. And then, of course, this happened. And this is from John Boy Media, one of my absolute favorite channels to watch. So now he's going down here for a bunt, and he doesn't like the fact that the pitch is inside. So now, instead of just doing what he should have responsibly done, he starts to jaw at Farnsworth from home plate and he challenges him, tells him to throw again. And basically now he set himself up for disaster because Farnsworth absolutely spears him right into the ground. Literally Roman Reigns, Goldberg style, right into the ground. And then of course he's in perfect position to try to land a haymaker. That one missed, but as you're going to see here in a second, not all of them did. The fact is this is not a guy that you wanted to screw around with. Again, 
incredibly imposing and not ready to back down from anybody. And maybe a position player would have had a better chance here, but Paul Wilson certainly didn't stand a chance. And as you see here, well, Kyle Farnsworth actually is smiling and looks pretty damn good, and Paul Wilson not so good. And speaking of those bench clearing brawls back in 2007 with the Mets, with just two games to go in the season, so pretty heated, the Marlins and the Mets got involved in one, and I was actually maybe not so involved. I mean, I saw it, I was right there on the front railing of the dugout, I wanted to run out, but as a staff member, I was actually precluded from running out of the field. I remember our head trainer, Ray Ramirez, kind of held me back and said, you, you don't belong out there. He probably knew better because if Farnsworth was on the other side of that, I probably would have gotten speared just like uh, old Paul Wilson did. So as far as this transformation here, guys, again, it's not really a surprise to me because it, I, I kind of saw bodybuilding in his future, and I definitely think that he's a guy who's going to work hard given the fact that he was always the first guy in, the last guy out. And for those that want to, again, talk about the obvious sort of suspicions here, again, even that may not come as a surprise based upon the error that this guy played in. But I just want to point out, this is not a surprise to me, nor should it be to you necessarily now that you know what I've told you. And by the way, if you're looking for a program where we do train like athletes, guys, and I will help you to get to that next level, you can find them over at athletenext.com. If you haven't done so, make sure you click subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video when we put one out. What do you think? Comment, leave your thoughts below. I'll make sure I read through them all. All right, guys, see you soon.